Welcome guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how I turn my T300 pedals into an improved and realistic set of sim racing pedals. If you're an active sim racer and you own a Thrustmaster T300 RS wheel, you know that the set of pedals that came with it are not the best or the more realistic set of pedals and most of you probably upgraded to the T3PA or a more high-end set of pedals. This was my first reason to look for an upgrade for my setup. The second reason was for my custom rig. I built a Formula 1 cockpit and the position I had to put the pedals in was very high and uncomfortable to use for long periods of time. The space inside an F1 cockpit is very limited and most set of pedals in the market will not fit inside my rig. The only viable option I found was the Real Gear GT Pro floor mount set of pedals. They sell for a very high price which was out of my range and they work only on PC but I only have a PS4 at the moment. I did some research on parts and found the ones that I needed to build my own set almost identical to the Real Gear GT Pro pedals and the cost was just over a third of the price. So I decided to start this project which turned out pretty well. So let me show you the process. The main parts that you need for the assembly are a floor mounted gas and brake pedal, a master cylinder, a pool style slave cylinder and a brake line. In this case I use a stainless braided one. I will leave the links of the parts in the description if you want to check them out. The brake pedal assembly starts by connecting the pedal to the master cylinder. The master cylinder contains the brake fluid reservoir. Once I had these two connected, I proceeded to connect the brake line on the master cylinder first and then the slave cylinder. Make sure to use enough Teflon tape to seal the brake line connections. I did not at first and I had to do this step again because I had leaks. After everything is connected, I went on to put the brake fluid in the system. This will allow the slave cylinder to pull the rotting needs mechanism which is used to create the pressure and realistic sensation of a car brake. Now that the brake pedal assembly was ready, I took apart the T300 pedals to expose the electronics that I was going to use. I had to be extremely careful to take out the potentiometers because the plastic piece with the gear teeth was really hard to pull out from the knob. Be careful when handling and moving the cables around because you might damage the connections. The pivot points of the T300 pedals have teeth that connect to the gear in the potentiometer which reads the movement and distance of the pedal so the idea was to transfer it to the new pedals. I bought up a set of plastic gears for toys with different sizes and that worked perfectly for this build. I use a gear of the same size or diameter as the one in the T300 pedal or the gas pedal in the new build. I opened up the center hole of the gear to fit in the screw that pivots the gas pedal and connected it with hot glue and a nut. Now it was time to measure the drilling points in the base and put it all together.
I use a small L-shaped aluminum piece to hold the potentiometers. For the gas, I position it to where the teeth of the gear match with the gear in the pedal. For the brake, I took a different approach to connect the pedal to the potentiometer. I used a small aluminum piece held together between the pedal and the master cylinder. This piece holds a stick that came with the gear set which pushes another stick that works as a lever moving the knob in the potentiometer. The reason for this is because I could not use a gear in the pivot point of the pedal and the connection point was higher so the travel distance of this point was going to be larger. Using the green piece as a lever compensates for this larger distance and allows for a better customization of the pedals. That is why there are many holes over the entire length of this piece. The higher the hole, the longer the travel distance will be and vice versa. Now, for the resistance feel of the brake pedal, I looked into different options. I even considered buying the resistance modules for the real gear GT Pro pedals. But after a while, I ended up using a spark plug connector. These come in different types. Some are full rubber and some are hard plastic. In this case, I ended up using the full rubber one and works perfectly. It gives an excellent feel of resistance that a normal car would. The calibration will be the last step and this completes the process. I am happy to say that I achieved what I intended to do with this build. I didn't want to just buy some pedals and use them, although it would have been easier but I like to build and figure out things by myself. Again, there are not many options in the market that would fit in my custom rig and so I got to make this the way I wanted, they fit perfectly and work as a charm. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some cool ideas of your own to improve or build your own pedals. Soon I will be putting up a video on how I build my F1 rig, so please stay tuned. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.